Hey y'all, welcome back. Right now, I am going to prune our pomegranate tree that we have out here in the orchard. Uh, this tree is very new. Uh, I actually just planted it um, a few days ago. But uh, what's important for me is to make sure it is established in a very healthy way. I did do all the things I need to do within the soil, but also it's important for me to prune it, yes, a tree this small, um, prune it so that it is trained in a way for it to actually produce a good amount of produce for my family, um, but also for the sustainability of the tree. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already took in some rubbing alcohol and clean my blades because I don't want to contaminate this tree and you know go from because I just finished the peach trees I don't want to bring anything or transfer any type of fluids or any potential diseases I don't want to create diseases also uh, funguses so it's important to always clean your blades uh, sterilize them and I did it with of course some like I said some rubbing alcohol all right so i'm getting down here to the base of this tree um first i'm going to start down here down below first now as you can see there's really not any type of things down here at the bottom of this tree that is growing so we don't have all of the mini shoots it looks like there were some um beforehand uh, probably at the nursery that this is from uh, but they had already took care of that and cleaned that part up so that part is well taken care of I do not have to focus any energies down that way so let's come up here what we're gonna do is we want to focus on our, tr our fruit tree having um, outward growth so anything that is going to create growth on the inside uh, and we're like we're trying to do that same kind of like a little bit of an open palm um, just so that we can have some proper air circulation for the trees um, and allow the sun to actually penetrate the tree so that we can get the fruit we want. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start going actually from within and I do not have rose, uh, rose cutting gloves, rose pruning gloves. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there are like little thorns on a pomegranate tree. So what I'm doing now is I'm going in for the middle to take out those um, items that actually will create a much fuller and shade in the middle of the tree. We don't want that. We want, we want there to be open airways. So I'm going through here and I'm taking out the items and I'm trying to cut everything at a 45 degree angle because I want outward growth I do not need inward growth for this tree outward growth is the is the same thing especially because I don't want anything growing inward even towards the other uh, leading branches because they will rub and can create damage this is good I'm going to take this one out alright I'm going to actually remove that one just because it, that one doesn't look like it will actually be able to hold anything Okay, and we're all done here. We, you never wanna go over about 30% of the tree. Uh, you, you wanna keep a good, a good amount of the tree and it really helps as your tree grows, you actually will find you don't have to prune as much. But since this is its first time being on the estate and um, 
it's our first time actually having an opportunity to be a part of its growth we have to prune it so it can grow according to what we what we know we can do so um, this tree has the potential to grow up to 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide uh, so thankfully <laughs> it is in within its own spacing we have properly spaced out all of our trees according to what we would like to have and according to also what it needs but that's it for now guys thank you so much for tuning into this video hope you like it if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos just like this please subscribe so long